right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property home tour. If this is your first time tuning into this channel, my name is Chuck, it's Crusoe with Simply Vegas, licensed real estate agent out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. So today I'm out here in the northwest of the Las Vegas Valley in a mass planning community called Sunstone. Now, if you guys want to know a little bit more about Sunstone, uh, check out our first video on this plan five. Uh, I break everything down so if you guys haven't had a chance to check out this video home tour on this property go ahead and check it out I'll break everything down and explain what's going on with this community so today we're gonna to be focusing on this model by Woodside Homes they have a total of six different floor plans there are only four that are modeled uh, modeled uh, this is the Callisto plan number six. This is the biggest model that they have, which is 2,613 uh, square feet. You have a two story that has an option of four to five bedrooms, three baths with a bonus room covered patio and a two car garage. The base price is four different elevations. Elevation A starts off at 500 eight thousand four hundred and ninety dollars okay so let's go take a look at this couple things i've noticed is that your front door is on the side and uh, we have like a little nook here right i don't want to say a nook but it goes in about five feet so a couple things um i personally don't like about this is that somebody could actually be hiding here so if you ever right for me this is what my thought is for safe safety purposes somebody could be hiding here while you just come here right somebody could just be waiting on you right versus having it actually at the front door all right so let's go inside let's see exactly what we have we have a nice eight foot door we have a rekey on here as you can see it is a complete open floor plan i mean i'll wait for these people they're gonna come on inside. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so a couple things that I've noticed here, we have a nice large island. Now one thing about this island I've noticed on this quartz countertop, let's see if there is a seam on this thing, which is there's a seam down the middle of the sink here, which it should always be down the center of the sink. However, I feel like it could be blended in a little bit more. So that's something that you definitely need to take a look at, okay? Now, if you get a three-piece, then there's a problem. It should be just the way that the model sits. You definitely have a nice front apron right here, stainless steel, dual basin. I don't know if I'm liking this faucet. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, the cabinets here are just regular gray shaker cabinets, but they're not full overlay cabinets. I prefer a full overlay, but this is not a modern style. This is more of a coastal type of feel. Looks like they added a uh, four cans here, which is, this is a little bit interesting on the pendant lighting. If you notice, these two are a little bit more closer than this right here. And the reason why is because you have six cans, right, in the kitchen. And it's kind of offset here. So you can't really move this right on over. So typically what I would have done here by looking at this first and foremost, right? Instead of four pendant lighting, I would have only done three and brung this in a little bit more. And do more of a bigger type of um, pendant lighting, right? You do have some cabinets underneath, which is really nice. And it looks like an additional upgrade right here, what they done was on this section, added some more cabinet space, which is a great concept, but there's one thing that I felt like they should have done on an upgrade here, and I think this is where they kind of dropped the ball. I probably would have had some sort of lights above here because it's a little bit darker in this space, and also have some light rails underneath these right here that's flush mounted with these floating cabinets. So that way, once you have it turned on, it illuminates this because this is kind of like a, a showcase piece, right? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Would you agree or disagree? Got the pantry. 
Uh, HOA is here uh, with the master plan community real quick is $100. There are some SIDS and LIDS, which is special improvement district and local improvement district. That's going to run you roughly about $700 and some change annually. Bounces roughly about 10 grand. We have a nice herringbone all the way up to the top, which they did a really good, good job on here. And what I like about this finish is that they did this actually right, okay? What they did was installed the cabinet, did the backsplash herringbone all the way to the top. Then they also added the trim after to keep it nice and clean. Then added the crown molding after, not try to cut it around. Also, some builders will only take you up to the top here, but it looks like they wrapped it all the way around, all the way to the back side. Let's take a look. Yes. So that's something that you also have to take a look at as well. So I like that. They did a really good job. Killer. So it looks like we have GE package appliances as well. Okay. So we have a chandelier here. Let's go take a look at the back. Obviously with the backyard, it's not included. Uh, the air conditioning units or York brand. It looks like it was a 14 sear. This just kind of gives you an idea of what you guys can do to your backyard. Bring in your backyard into your house. Now as you can see, we kind of have a slope that kind of goes down like this. Okay. The reason why they did this is because your drain swell. Right? You got to push the water away from your house. Push it outside. However, there's a way that you can make this completely leveled, but then you run a six inch PVC pipe, a drain underneath it. So that way when you have that pitch, it still pushes it out. And also you have it completely flat because right now it's not leveled. Now, another thing I want to talk about is uh, with landscaping, believe it or not, with landscaping, with different type of trees and different type of plants that you install, they actually help by pushing insects away. You know what I mean? There's certain type of plants that insects and like all these little creatures that just don't like. I want to say deflect, maybe that's the word I'm looking for. I don't know, let me know. Lost for words right now. Now when you see stuff like this, it's basically a clean out, okay? So why do we have a clean out here? Well, let's take a look. It's probably running down this wall here for a reason. What's up, brother? How's everything going? I guess so. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, hey, I think we're. Yep, next week. Was it? Was it next week? Well, I don't know. York called you, right? Okay, cool. Hey, congratulations on that uh, Simply Vegas thing, bro. Right on, dude. Matter of fact, hey. I gotta give my boy a quick shout out, real quick. Y'all know who this is? Let me know in the comments below. And hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Love you, bro. All right, man, we see you, all right? See you later. All right, so um, let's take a look here. A couple things. Uh, looks like we have a bedroom down here. So we have a bedroom down here. Uh, I've noticed the texture on this one. It's gonna be that Santa Fe type of texture, but you have three different textures that you can pick and choose from. The uh, baseboards here are gonna be your upgraded baseboards. Uh, flooring, LVP. Now, when you start doing this type of light flooring, you can't really move things around too often because when you do light, this is what happens. You end up scuffing up your floors. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't clean it out. Now, there's type of materials and products that you can actually use on that flooring, 
but make sure to get with the manufacturer because some people may say use uh, teenage alcohol, I think it's called, but then you can actually take off that ceramic coating off of that um, LVP and the sheen is gonna be completely different, so watch out for that. Another thing that, uh, this room right here, okay? I can tell you right now, the way that this room is configured, you're forced to put your headboard here, okay? Your TV would go here, but then you have that Cat 5 and also your coax cable right here too as well, right? So that tells you that is a flawed design. That stuff should actually be moved over here. So if that comes standard, make sure to request to have it on this side and raise it up to 62 inches, which is the standard height. And also you might want to do a plug back here. Here is the reason why that you're going to do a plug back here because this doesn't give you enough depth to add a, uh, what do you call, um, like a dresser, right? Because this room's not that big enough. So just keep that in mind. Here's your walk-in closet. So in this one, we have a four rocker switch, six, eight on the door. So it looks like this bedroom actually gets this bathroom. However, definitely shares with all the guests, okay? Now in this one, it looks like we have a three quarter transition on here. And the reason why it's transitioned like this is just due to the fact that because this LVP is a little bit higher than uh, this 12 by 24 tile. So typically for me, if you're going custom, and this is not a true custom home, I would actually get rid of this, float this up a little bit higher, throw a nice sluter so that way the transition is nice and smooth. You have that zero threshold. You have the three quarter bath as we come in. Looks like we have the fiberglass floor pan, uh, floor pan. And then we have cladding all the way to the top, finished off with some sluters. We have some nice cabinets. Uh, basically, we have the undermounted sink, a cast iron, four inch glass subway backsplash. Um, the medicine cabinet, you have the option to put that. I feel like when you start putting that, it kind of takes away from the home. It's a little bit more tacky. So if you have that option, get rid of that, okay? Unless if it's a rental property. So let's take a look here. Okay, so this is a garage. Now the garage is 22 feet in depth. So it's a pretty large garage. So you do have the Rainbird here, the tankless water heater, okay? Now, this is your coat closet, but what they did was add this little nook here, so that way you have like a little doggy door, just kind of where your dog hangs out, which is kind of cool. All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna head on upstairs. One, two, three, four steps. By the time we actually hit a landing, then we have this additional upgraded on the rail. As we make our way to the top, we have a nice loft area. Now, you do have an option to do a banister here as well. What I like about that banister, it definitely will open up this whole space, which is nice. However, if you do that, you're gonna lose your couch space because imagine if you have a banister here, then it's kind of hard to prop up your couch here, just not gonna look right. So this pony wall really blocks this off. So if you're facing your TV that way, then you're completely fine, right? Then you wanna add this pony wall. However, if you're putting your TV here, get rid of that pony wall, keep it open, your couch can go along that side. And you have a full game room, right? Pretty decent size. Kind of give you a perspective from right here. Now let's head down this way. Let's go take a look at the primary couple things. Right off to the left, we have upgraded on the cabinets here. Pretty decent size. Bedroom, very large bedroom. Also, um, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to Matt, which is a sales agent out here. Uh, they do have some incentives if you purchase a home out here, if you guys wanna know what those incentives are, uh, give me a call. I would be happy to explain the incentives. Also, another thing is that, um, going back, if you guys come on out here, make sure to mention my name with Matt, the sales rep, so that way 
you know, I can get some credit for it too as well, right? Because it's all about building relationships. It's about building, you know, rapport. And, and what that really does is, is this. Every time you guys mention, hey, I seen Chuck, it's a video, he told me to come on down, he told me to meet up with you, that builds the credibility and also that helps the next person because now they wanna do business with me directly and the more business that I do with the builder, guess what eventually happens? They'll contact me and they say, hey, we want you to do a video home tour and also we'll give you better incentives than anybody else. Well, I'm not gonna tell you that, however, I just did. So like on my last video, I explained I had one of the sales agents that contacted me for a three-story home, about 4,000 square feet, five bedrooms, right? Price on it, build out was like, I think like 380, I'm sorry, no, not 380, uh, 000, but they were like, hey man, if you know anybody that's interested, we're trying to liquidate this property right away and we're gonna probably sell for like 730 or just, just something crazy. And like what you're paying for the price per square foot is unbelievable. However, um, you know, that may be a deal for you, but I mean, it may not be a deal. However, if you're looking for value wise, and this is where I say, hey, we actually have, um, a link in the description so if you guys want our standing inventory list uh, go ahead and click on that link okay now a couple things here which is i don't like okay we have a transfer grill then between the transfer grill you have two by fours because it's actually required right because this is actually header but if you look through the grill you can see the two by fours now this is the stupid part, okay? Attention to detail, at least paint the two by four. So that way it kind of like blends in together. Or take the studs and see if you can move it all the way to the side, right? To reinforce it versus just doing it the way it is. It's like, this doesn't make any sense. I mean, again, these are things that, you know, I look at. Now let's evaluate this. Oh, we can't even open the smart panel box. I wanted to see if they actually had a Smurf to the DMARP. Also, another thing that you may want to ask is that, you know, is fiber optics coming to the community? Sewage line, you want to make sure, do they have a flap at the sewage line? Now, if you guys want to know what that is about and why that's important, give me a call. Or let me know in the comments, and I'll reply back. I should do a video on new homes, like 10 things that you should ask a builder, right, for quality construction and quality control. I don't know, let me know. Because I can give you some examples, right? The flap on the sewage line, the air conditioning unit, what you should be asking. Are they using two by fours, two by six, right? Insulation. And there's like some things that you should be getting standard. Some builders will charge you soft water loop. Like I just did a deal where they're trying to charge like $800 for a freaking soft water loop. I'm like, man, that's like nickel and diamond. All the rest of the builders ain't charging for this. Why are you charging for it? So this is how you price shop you know from one builder to another all right guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel i really do appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart my name is chuck it's chris Watt with simply vegas i really wish you guys nothing but the best all right folks be blessed if you guys want to check out all our video home tours, we have over 1,800 video home tours. Just go ahead and click on this video right here. If you guys are in the market and you want to purchase a home and want to get started, visit lvhomeexperts.com. Scan this QR code right now. Also, if you guys just love real estate and want to get into real estate, go ahead and subscribe to our second channel. Until next time, peace.